Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Gadagrixis Warren BE. So, right, uh, the situation is rather difficult right now. I'm going to be blunt, I did not take enough forces of the Soviet Union out in the first turn, and I am definitely going to pay for it, but hey ho, what is a game without a challenge? So we're going to carry on, I do believe, and we're just going just gonna to see how it turns out. Who knows what could happen. Apparently we do have a few turns before the... AI starts getting incredible amounts of reinforcements, so we'll see what we can do. Right, uh, now this is difficult. I know there's probably going to be forces over here, I know there's definitely forces guarding this here, and same over here. Though Talonin is a very important city, it's a port city with a nice amount of supplies. Yeah, 5,000, 5,000. So I will take that. We are going to have to force our way through somewhere. Hmm. What do, what do? Now these units aren't cut off, so what I think I might do is actually pull back. If we pull back to Piskov, I can allow my logistics network to kick in. We can build up some supplies and then possibly in the turns after we can go for a breakthrough somewhere. What I'd like to do is... Uh, <coughs> excuse me, is to try and break through at this point and cut off these forces here. Or maybe like round through Novgorod and try it round here. Though that does not seem entirely possible. Alright. It was all looking so rosy and sweet the turns before, but hey, that's the nature of warfare. Now. I need to get around here. I think we're going to start off by moving the infantry first, something that's always a uh, good thing to do. So we can move down here into the marshes, into the swamp, sorry, but that's no good. Um, we have the bridge over here, but this is guarded. We'll take a look at what's actually guarding this bridge. Right, so we have two infantry divisions, the 53rd and the 232nd. The 294th controls the bridge over there. I would take a big penalty for trying to attack across the bridge. Okay. Supplies. Let's see, morale. So their morale is kind of so-so, um, but we don't have the capability to attack right now. I mean, I could assign a unit here, but we don't have any squad units available. Uh, so I guess what we're going to have to try and do then is um, get around them and head for Gumel. So move down here. Hmm. I could get quite a way around here. That could be doable. There's some air bases down here. Quite a few planes here, actually. Okay. Well, we should do some reconnaissance first. I forgot about that one. Um, there we go. We're going to some reconnaissance. Bloody hell. Whoops. Well, that was not good. I kind of wasted that. Okay. Have the AI run these... Uh, missions here. Okay. So what can we see? We know there's forces down here. I imagine there's going to be a unit over here, perhaps. We'll move the cavalry. Can the cavalry and the infantry... Right, the infantry can move here, so we'll move the infantry. Nothing there. Right, there we go. So there's an infantry division over here, the 75th rifle. That's good to know. We are slowly making our way through the marshes, through the swamp. Which may work out in the end. I mean, if I could get something like that, I might be able to work something out. Let's take a look at the general situation. We do have reinforcements coming. Um, so I think what we're going to do then is... Um, well, let's see. If I pull these forces back here... Oh, I've got yellow one. How uh, fruity. Let's go for a nice, strong, possibly purple... Ah, yeah, that's a nice purple. Yeah, so if we pull back to Piskov, um, I will hold Piskov, though, as it is a city. It's uh, nice and easy to hold on to. Uh, so I imagine the Soviets will then uh, come forward, possibly, and form a line here. Now, the thing is, due to this being a uh, shorter front, basically, I mean, here they have all this front to work with. Um, so their numbers work against me. But if they come in here, I'll just uh, close this off. There we go. Start again. Yes. So say the Soviets make their line here. 
it's easier for me to break through at certain points, like possibly over here, and then come around like so. D. D for danger. So I think that's what we're going to have to do, really. Now, what I feel what may be the best idea is pull back here, move forces such as the Panzers to the south and try and get round, or possibly through the center here. Though I imagine this is held, and it is pretty crap terrain, the swamp. It's no good for anyone. These guys... Yeah, they don't have enough fuel, sadly. If they did, that would have been fantastic. So we'll do a HQ build-up over here. Right, Panzer Group. Panzer Group. How can I not do a HQ build-up? Oh, you can, Bo. Right, there we go. We'll do a HQ build-up over here. Uh, Panzer Group. Yep, that's fine. No. Ah, uh, well, shame. These guys need to be brought back for damn sure. We can wipe out this tiny pocket here, though, so that's a bonus. Now, I'll grab uh, two units. Actually, it might be fine with just one division here. Right, so we'll go for the full attack. There we go, they surrendered. Well, at least we've got uh, about almost 30,000 men there, so that's worthwhile. We only lost 158, so not too bad. Righto. So we are going to spread the infantry out here, and I think I'm going to hold on this line, possibly the other side of the river. Aye. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Hmm. I'll hold that position. Right, we've taken Piskov. I do need to get rid of these units, but there's not much I can do right now. Bam ba bam 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 ba bam 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 bam. Right, this is pretty bad. I should have uh, chosen my divisions more wisely, but oh well. Move there. Now, we have these motorized. If I hold this position here, at least it gives me a way across the river. Well, we'd have two ways across the river, so that's fine for me. Right, we'll combine these units over here. Let's move that HQ out of there. Right, there we go, we'll form up that division. Right. So I believe we're going to move the panzers back and the armor. And then we'll have them basically gather supplies. Then what we need to do is find a way to punch through the Soviet line. And uh, what we could try to do is head for Novgorod. There's a decent amount of fuel over here, so that would be quite helpful to have. And if we take a look at here... Uh, yes, right. Oil stores, fuel stores, that help our stores out a little bit more. The Soviets are probably... I'm not worried about that at all. We'll continue with the movements down here. I always end up getting bloody sidetracked. <laughs> I'm terrible for it. Right, we'll move here. Bam, 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 bam. Hmm. Right, we could punch through here. I'll use the strong division. They can do a full attack. Right, they retreated. So that was only a cavalry division, so that's good. That was the weakest part of that line there. Alright, so I'll move that one forward. What do we have over here? We have uh, rifle and cavalry. Let's see. Bam, 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 bam. You, you. Oh, you don't have full. Okay, fair enough. We'll try and force you back across the river. Right, there we go. Okay. You do have some movement left. Fantastic. Oh, not enough, though. Shame. Right, we'll hold the city there. Okay, everybody's in, that's good. Yep, everybody's fine here. I 
We're going to form a line here, but I'm going to find my way through in the following turns. Okay. Now we have the road to Smolensk over here. It's clear to rain. There's a good amount of them. Actually, I could do with pushing him there, but at least I got that bit there. Aye. So I think what I'll do is I'll basically build up my forces. We'll take you, uh, these two divisions here. I'll move them to this side of the river here. Uh, two nines, I'll move them over here. There we go. Now if I have forces here, it stops them moving them away. Right, so we have some very demoralized infantry divisions here. Very interesting. Okay, everybody's good. Everybody's good. Yep, all good. All good. Okay. Now. They do have a decent amount of fuel. I think if we move back and do a HQ build-up, really get that fuel built up. I think we should be able to make it quite far. Right, so HQ's over here, so if I move to about there, I should be in range for a HQ build-up. Um, you can't do it... Um, you can't either. Neither can these guys. Just looking for the headquarters here. Okay. Fair enough. I'm going to be very interested to see how the Soviet line forms around my troops here. I need a way through to Smolensk, and if I can try and trap these forces that would be most amazing. So I think the idea is uh, we're going to move the 19th Panzer Divisions. Uh, sorry, the... well, bloody hell, I forgot what that is in Roman numerals. But if I could get over here to this rail line, there's not much swamp on this line. There's light woods more than anything, and it's the road to Vitebusk. Uh, Vitebusk. Can you not move? Surely you can move. What the hell? Yeah, what's the issue here? Ah, HQ build up ride. Yep, that was silly. Oh, I can punch through here. That's probably a better idea. So move our infantry over here. If we can punch through this line here, try and uh, pocket these forces, that might be doable. It really depends on how the Soviets move, and we still need to deal with the southern frontier. Right. Our forces here. How much do we have in our rail pool? We have 26,000. That's quite a nice amount, actually. I suppose I'll take Talon in. Uh, I'll take it with this unit here. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, there we go. Talon in is now secured. Uh, what do we have here? We have heavy woods, light woods, light woods, light woods, and clear. So this is the best line to attack on. Okay, your units are all the way down here. That's not good. Do you only have this one directly under your command? Bollocks. Right, I'll transfer you over to the... There we go. Right, that should be a lot better off now. Yes, there we go. So I'll head this way. Right, so there's armor here. Significant amount of armor. Okay, 
Kind of rail? You're not on the right rail, okay. Eh, uh, I mean, they can move up a little further. Not all bad. Can't move that far, but still, it's better than nothing. I'll have you move towards um, him, actually. At least they're both in supply, then. Right home. Right, a motorized brigade. Infantry division here. Now these forces will be back in the Soviet line next turn. They're not cut off, which is really annoying. So I can't do too much on that one. Um, we'll switch you out actually. Okay, get you behind the lines. And move these guys. We have clear terrain here. I think this is where we need to punch through. Um, so hopefully I can try and make it so the Soviets can't see me. Uh, they will have reconnaissance though, so they will have an idea what's going on. Right, another motorized division. Okay. Um, I'll have you reassigned actually. would be the best way to do things. Hmm. I'll have these guys move over here for the time being. Just makes it easier for rail traffic. There we go. Interesting. Ah, we have more divisions over here as well. So we are moving forces in. I reckon we might be able to punch through the Soviet line. We need a breakthrough and we need to surround the Soviets. And, um, break their will. And by that I mean surround them and cut off supply. Right, let's assign you to this division. Um, what are you, the Elgor? Oh, you already have one, okay, sweet. Um, Elgor, okay. Sign. Right, okay. Shit. What is your actual? Ah, 18th Army, okay. To the 18th Army we go. I'm seeing. Ah, oh, there we go, okay. Um, you are. LI 18. Ah, there we go. Right, they've been assigned. That's good to know. Okie dokie. Right, we need to move you back as well. Move you down here with the arm. Well, with the motorized. Hmm. I feel like I should assign these two armies. It would make a lot more sense, honestly. Right. Um, let's get on with the rails then, shall we? Where do we want the rails to go? We could have them go to Talonin. 
Um, or we could have them go to Piskov. I think if we have Rails Piskov, that's going to be of more value than uh, Talon in there. So we'll head this way. At least then I can move reinforcements up to the front line, or at least closer to the front line. Okay, I'll just move you out of the way. Bum, bum. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, bum. Yeah, quite a few rails done here. Do you have enough for one more? No. Uh, but at least you're there next turn. So we'll have the rails... Bloody hell, one, two, three, four, five. That's quite good, actually. Bloody hell. Yes. So at least we're not far from Piskov. So these forces will be very well supplied, which is awesome. Okay. Bam, bam, ba -ba -bam, ba -ba -bam. Have our rail over here. Um, yeah, head towards Minsk. I don't think you'll have enough for Minsk, but if I can move you in there next turn, that'd be good. Um, I'll move... Uh, this guy here. Right. So at least you can convert the rails in Minx next turn, which would be awesome. We have the rails down here too. Right. Now the good news is we are going to be able to move troops really easily to this area. Which is very nice. Yes, the rail lines here are going to converge very soon. Uh, so we should be able to move troops quite easily north, south, to the center. Dun-dun-dun, dun-dun-dun-dun. Uh, we do have reinforcements over here, but I will need to move. Uh, it looks like we have more over here, too. Ooh, SS. Only brigades, however. Motorized and cavalry. Ugh. Hmm. Interesting. Motorizer unit. That's interesting. Okay. Italians. Uh, this Italian? Yeah, Italians, okay. Right, we do have these forces over here. This is going to be very interesting when we get to it. I'll make sure I'm done with the north, though. And we do have the fins to move as well, so I'll do that in a moment. Okay, you're good, you're good, that's good. That's good, yeah. That's be a boot. Right, I'll have you move down here. Or not. Okay. Why? Do you not have enough fuel? Fuck. That's not good. Oh boy, that's not good. I need to protect that um, HQ. So I suppose we can keep some armor here then. This is not going to help me. I now have this line to fill. This gap, sorry. Hmm. 
Oh, sweet, okay. Not the greatest thing ever. Right, so hopefully we should be able to punch through here and try and... Well, what my idea is really... If I can get around here, then push here, we can try and form a decent pocket. Uh, there doesn't seem to be much in the middle here, so if I can keep these troops here, those Soviets aren't going to be able to move. I mean, they could try and uh, push like that, but honestly, that's going to be worse on that because then I could just cut that advance like that. That's a very weird, interesting symbol. It, I think that's pretty much a Pokemon. It's like one of those uh, letter, letter motherfuckers. Right, let's go with uh, the fins now. I do need uh, Hanko, but we'll get that in time. Are these units isolated? No, they have the beachhead supply. It's not going to be good. Right, NPKD and rival division to try full attack, try and make them surrender. Fort, yep, okay, good, they're gone now. That's great news. Uh, so I think I'll send like a full division back, potentially. Now we have cavalry here and a division of Jaegers. 5,000 infantry, 27 infantry, well, guns. How far can we move? Uh, captured that, but not that. At least for now. Right. We'll move on the rail lines. Okay, so we have airborne brigades. Uh, what would be interesting is if they did weaken their defences here. At least uh, Finnish troops aren't bad at all, you know. They're not bad. Ah, right, there we go. Move to Vyborg. Uh, Coastal Brigade. I'll have you assigned to uh, the overall command. There we go. At least then we don't have to worry about that. I don't think the Soviets are in any position to do anything here to attack. Uh, so should I bomb the city? Potentially. Hmm. I mean, that's a lot of shipping. I think we should bomb Hanko, and then at least we can take out one of the... Yeah, we'll bomb the port here. Well, actually, we could bomb the port. It would damage the amount of supplies they would receive, I'd imagine. But there's not much here. It's just going to take a lot of ramming our faces into it to get through. Your command's all the way up here. Right, just cover them up. Oh, bugger me, we can't move by rail. That sucks. They can't move pretty far, though, I'm not going to lie. Okay. Uh, these guys should be... Oh, they're not isolated. Okay, I'm guessing that's because of uh, the supplies they received. What do we have here, then? We have NVKD and uh, Border. Uh, so I'll just go for an attack here. They should probably surrender or retreat like so. Uh, one of them surrendered, so that's the fortified. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's attack here, make them surrender. Are they going to continue to retreat, you asses. Right in where I want to go. Ah, go for a full attack. Okay, they're going to retreat. Oh, surrendered and retreated, okay. Not too bad. Ba ba bam 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 ba ba bam bam ba bam. Try and get them to surrender. Right, they've been routed. That's uh, almost as good, but meh. Ba ba bam bam. I'm gonna need these troops south, though, to be honest. Like, the greens need to come down here to try and hold that border. These guys are free to move, however. Right, we have the German infantry here. Surely he's cut off from supply. Or not. Interesting. He's very weak, though, so I'll just do a attack here. He should surrender. Our route. Okay. Uh, we are coming very close to the end of the episode, guys. So thank you so very much for watching so far. Um, we'll carry on. Um, I think I'll do another half hour. Why not? Um, I've uh, neglected the series for the time. So goodbye for now.